Well, it's been a few weeks since I've been here in front of the camera doing a YouTube video, but I'd say January 2022 has been the craziest month of my life. So I want to give you an update on the channel, what's been happening, and while being financially flexible has allowed me to get through this month. Hello everyone, my name is Ethan Rushok and I'm finally back with another video. I'm excited to get back into the YouTube game, get the consistent content coming. So hopefully going forward, we'll have the Wednesday video, the Sunday videos, I'll be dropping a few lives. We're building up to the Rushok's NFT launch. So if you haven't heard about that, go and check out the videos I've done on that. Get in the Discord, there's lots of great conversations going on there. But I wanted to provide a quick update on what's been going on, why January 22 was just crazy for me but while putting myself in a financial position to be flexible allowed me to get through it. So for those that weren't aware, I was getting married in January. I was meant to be getting married in state in the Gold Coast. And obviously with the current situation in the world, everything went pear shaped. And on New Year's Eve, we decided to change the plans for this and ended up getting married in South Australia. I did do a quick video talking about us trying to plan this in a week. But we ended up getting married at the on the 8th of January, and then we went to Queensland for a two-week honeymoon. So we went to the Gold Coast and up to Cairns. And this was obviously quite a financial stress point because we had paid a lot of money for our event up in Queensland, and we had to try and reschedule a new event back here, use new vendors, and therefore that come with additional cost. But we'd saved hard and we'd budgeted hard. And this is my first example of financial flexibility. By budgeting and saving and having a good plan in place for our wedding, it allowed us that money that we could go and do that. We made sure we had a buffer room because we were unsure of what could have come up with the wedding. We never expected this, but we had the money there that we were able to do it without it being another stress point. There was enough stress going on of how we're we gonna pull this all together rather than having to have the money stress on top of it. So by putting yourself in that flexible position, it's like having an emergency fund. You don't know when it's gonna be used. We definitely didn't expect it to need to be used then, but it was there and we could do it. So we then went away for two weeks up to Queensland. This was obviously budgeted for, but one lesson I learned, and again, it's about being flexible, is I thought that we had budgeted $120 a day for food. And I knew we were constantly going over this, but I knew we had buffer room elsewhere in our budget. And then when I did go and check, I realized I'd actually budgeted for that buffer room. So it allowed $150 a day, which is probably close to what we were. But again, I think if you budget for those worst case scenarios, then even if you hit that, you know you've still met your budget. So you're not have gone into other money. And if you're under, well, that's a bonus. So then the third thing that was going on in January for us was getting back into the swing of things, which obviously took a little bit longer than we expected because we just had that, you know, the high of the wedding, all that. Then you have to deal with all the things of being away for three weeks that didn't quite happen. I didn't have all my YouTube videos planned like I thought. I've got to get back into my business and get back to clients that have emailed over those couple of weeks while also trying to build an NFT project. So that was pretty hectic. So I think it quickly taught me that, well, being financially flexible allowed me to not stress about the money side of these things because there's enough time I need to dedicate just to have all these things happen. So if you can put budgets in place and put plans in place, at least you're not then stressing over the money side of things and you can focus on actually getting things done. And then the other crazy thing that happened on Friday night at about 10 p.m. we decided that we we're gonna head off the next day to Melbourne for Saturday night to go watch the Australian Open Women's Final. So we went and watched Ash Barty play, which was an amazing experience. Neither of us had ever been to the tennis before. And this is obviously a spontaneous trip that cost money. But again, because we have put ourselves in that position, we worked, we both worked really hard in 2021 to save money, work extra hours, etc. Put ourselves in a situation where we could have the money and we, when things like this come up, I love my sport and I could just go on that whim and go, you know what, let's go do it. Let's have these experiences and spend that money and we loved it. We had a great time and the money wasn't a stress. And it's definitely not to say that we're just, you know, crazy rich people. We're definitely not, but we work hard and we budget and it's allowed us to be flexible when these things come up. Or you might go, okay, I'm gonna spend here, but we know that, okay, down the track, maybe we don't do that. Or maybe that allows us more time, we can use the money that was set aside for that, use it here and then save for that. So putting plans in place and then being flexible when they change is such a key lesson that I've learned here for 2022. So I just want to get a quick video out, give you an update of what's been going on in January. As I said, going forward, I'll be trying to get the two videos a week. So I'd love for you to go and hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, send me a message of what videos you want me to cover. And most of all, if there's any one thing that I could ask of you, it would be to jump over the Discord, join that. I'm dropping all the details on the Rooftop NFT project that we'll be hopefully launching in March. I'm so excited for it. Can't wait to share more with you. I appreciate you watching and I'll talk to you again soon. Thank you.